Mr. Harris here and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to talk about plant cells and animal cells. Okay, let's look at an, at an example of a plant cell. In front of you in this diagram it is a leaf cell. And if we sketch out a drawing of a leaf cell, you'll see something like this. Now let's talk about some of the structures that you would see in a leaf cell. So the first structure that you would see is a cell wall. The cell wall is the outermost. It is the outermost structure. So it protects, supports, and gives shape to the plant cell. Next, for a plant cell, we also have a cell membrane so this is the inner structure or you would say inner layer so for the cell membrane it controls the movement of substances going into and out of the cell okay so not everything could enter or be removed from the cell. For a plant cell, we also have the cytoplasm. So cytoplasm is it's this whole chunky area over here. So this is where chemical reactions occur. Okay. And plant cells they also have a nucleus. So the nucleus this over here so it contains the DNA so later on we'll learn more about the DNA but for now DNA is something that could instruct the cell so it instructs the cell to do certain things okay plant cells also have a vacuole so the vacuole is quite a large one actually. So sometimes we call it a large vacuole. So it's this big area over here. So it stores water and dissolved minerals. So some plant cells To be more specific, mainly green cells, they have chloroplasts. I repeat, chloroplasts. So chloroplasts, it's not in all plant cells, it's only in some. And this is where photosynthesis occurs. So this word, photosynthesis, is basically where plants make food. So in other words, chloroplast is the site where plants make food. Or if I want to be more specific, it is where green plants make food. Okay, let's look at some examples of plant cells. So over here, you have a plant cell. And this large area over here is the vacuole. And this, is, this over here is the chloroplast. So we see that there is a chloroplast over here. So we know that this is a green cell. And from the picture, we could also see that there is a nucleus present. So nucleus has the DNA. It contains the DNA. So let's talk about animal cells now. What about animal cells? Do they have the same structure? So over here, we have the human cheek cell. And when we sketch it out, the human cheek cell has a cytoplasm. 
a cell membrane, and a nucleus. However, it does not have a cell wall or a vacuole. So for an animal cell, the outermost layer, this time it is not cell wall, but instead it is the cell membrane. So let's have a look at some examples. So this is what a nerve cell looks like. This is what a muscle cell looks like. I want you to notice the magnification over here. It's times by 700. And look at skin cells. The magnification is much higher. And if you notice, there is again, you will notice that there is a outermost membrane. So we call this the cell membrane. Okay, to wrap up, both plant cells and animal cells, they have a cell membrane, cytoplasm, and a nucleus. However, only plant cells have a cell wall and a large vacuum. Some plant cells also have chloroplast for photosynthesis. Again, photosynthesis is a process of how plants make their own food. Okay, let's do some checkpoint questions now. So I, I own purposely set this question over here. So let's read this question. This was on the previous videos, cells and microscope. So when we see the word POD pod under the microscope, the image seen is pod. Is it the same? So pause this video right now and try to work on this question on your own. I'm going to go ahead now. Okay, in the previous video, remember I said the image that we see under a microscope is first it is magnified. And second, I said it is inverted. Inverted meaning it is upside down. And today I would like to introduce another one, which it should be reversed as well. Reversed meaning backwards. So for example, let me use this POD over here. So for letter P, I'm going to use green. For letter O, I'm going to use orange. For letter D, I'm going to use blue. Okay. So once you observe this under the microscope, the letter P, which is green in color, will be inverted. Inverted meaning upside down. And then it will also be reversed. Reversed meaning it will be starting from the back. So first of all, the letter P is inverted and it will be starting from the back. The letter O, okay. First of all, of course, it will be magnified and then inverted meaning upside down. So letter, letter O upside down is still the letter O and it will start from the backwards. The backwards will continue from here. And finally, the letter D, when it's inverted, it becomes the letter P. And then we started from the backwards, so the only place to put it is over here. So after you put it under the microscope, you will notice that 
the letters would still be shown as POD. So the image that we see under the microscope is still POD. So the answer is true. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Question B, the nucleus of a cell is where photosynthesis occurs. Is it true or false? Yes, it is false because it should be the chloroplast. Question two, which of the following structures can be found in plant cells and animal cells? This is a very good question. This summarizes basically the whole video. So in plant cells just now, plant cells have the outermost layer, which is the cell wall. It has a cell membrane. It has a cytoplasm. Does it have a nucleus? Yes. Does it have a large vacuole? Yes. And does it have a chloroplast? Yes. And maybe I'll write a word for some. How about for an animal cell? Do animal cells have a cell membrane? Yes. Do they have a cell wall? No, they do not. How about cytoplasm? Yes, they do. Do animal cells have nucleus? Yes. Do they have a large vacuole? Again, no. This is only for plant cells. And do they have chloroplasts? No, again, because this is only for plant cells. All right. So this is a quick video on plant cells and animal cells. So make sure um, you'll continue watching the series of videos. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.